everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to do your very own frame backing. It can be pretty expensive if you go to a professional frame place all the time. So this is a wonderful way to do it yourself. So things that you're going to need, um, you're going to need some sort of glue to back it. Um, I've got tacky glue here which is good for papers and stuff like that and it's not too too strong if I can. You're also going to need some D-rings and some screws to put them in. And you want to make sure that the screws you get aren't going to go too long. So I've actually got this foam core in here to keep it, to keep my artwork pushed forward. We're going to put the glue all the way around. Alright, now that I've got that done, we're going to flip it over on the paper. Now it's nice and flipped over on the paper. I'm pressing down a little bit. And I'm just going to leave it there. I want it to take its time and get nice and dry. So we are back. This should be pretty good and snug. So I'm going to cut it out. So as you see, it is adhered on the back. Now, what you can do is just dampen it a little bit and that will help pull it taut. So all this excess will kind of go away. Or toit, like a toyga. Okay, so that's gonna pull tight over time. And our next thing is going to be to install the D-rings. So you want to make sure you know where, which way is up. And you want to kind of come that's the same height down. Maybe like a third of the way. And I'm just kind of pressing in with my screwdriver just to kind of get it started. Sing your screw straight down so that it doesn't go in at an angle. And once it grabs, it'll thread itself as you spin. Should be pretty easy. Then we're going to use our wire. So you want your wire to also be fairly tight. You don't want too much excess. So you're gonna put your wire through the D-ring. You want it to go through the ring twice. And 
And once you've got it there, then you can start twisting it around itself. And it is ready to be hung.